Hello there, it's Eva again, and I'm here to show you how to make Erin's Banana Bread Bonanza from the Cooking Club Detectives. It's the recipe that's right at the back of the book, and it's the dish that Erin and her mum, the dessert they always make on special occasions. And now, as I told you earlier, for those of you that have watched my previous video, um, this dish is very easy to make, um, some very simple ingredients that you can get in any of your local supermarkets, and um, it really just takes a few simple steps. You do need an adult to help you with the oven at the end, just, just so that you're aware of that. So let's get started. First of all, the recipe calls for two pretty ripe bananas. So unfortunately mine, as you can see here, I've actually got three, I've got a spare. Um, but as you can see here, mine are still a little bit yellow. There's no, there's no spots on them. Ideally, you would like to see a few spots just so that you know that they'll be nice and soft inside. And what you, you then go on to do is pop your bananas, which I've actually started doing, into a bowl. Now the trick is to slice them up. So slice them up using a knife. Again, uh, you might get an adult to help you here. Um, and use a fork, it's all you need. Use the back of a fork to just mash them into the bowl. So you might need to apply quite a bit of pressure just to make sure that all of the banana is very nice and soft and that you've um, basically got out any lumpy bits. So it might take you a little while to sort of mash it into a really, really nice, hopefully quite smooth pulp. Now I've cheated a little bit because I've already gone on to the next step and I've pre-prepared a bowl, which includes our second ingredient. Now the really great thing about making banana bread is that the um, quantities of the different um, ingredients are very similar. So after you've got your two bananas, all you need to remember is that you need two eggs, and then it's pretty much 400 grams of all of the other ingredients. Now, 400 grams is roughly a cup size. So again, don't worry if you are slightly out. Um, what I always do, rather than measuring it out directly, is just to use a cup. So what you might use, like a, a regular tea mug, here's one that, that I love with a Polish pattern that um, I got from my family in Poland. So this cup is filled with self-raising flour, 400 grams in there. And this cup is filled with caster sugar, again 400 grams. And the other ingredient, which I've already mentioned that I've cheated about, is actually just regular unsalted butter, again 400 grams. So normally you get a pack which has 500, so um, just use a knife to um, slice off the 100 that you don't need, put that aside for later, and the rest of it is to be put into your bowl. So what I've now done, and I'm gonna stand up here just so you can see some of my ingredients. What I've done here is I've popped the bananas that I've mashed, so these are, this is one that I made earlier, as I like to say, and I've popped them into a bowl um, together, here you will see, with the butter. So I've just popped all of my very soft butter, so um, make sure that it's not been in the fridge and it's nice and soft. And I've popped it in here with my two bananas that I've mashed up. Um, and I've actually used an electric hand whisk. So this is something that um, an adult might have to help you with, but don't worry if you don't have one of these at home, um, because you can just do it by hand. You can literally just mix it with a wooden spoon or a nice um, big metal spoon. It might just take a little bit longer so once again, apologies, I've, uh, I've used a, a bit of a quicker method by, um, by using this whisk. So, um, so I've here actually already got my bananas, already got my butter pre-mixed, um, so I wouldn't have to cause too much of a racket by um, switching on my whisk again. And actually, what I'm just now going to do is I'm going to tip in my remaining ingredients. So what I've got in here is I've, I've got another little bowl, and here I've popped in my two eggs. I've cracked them um, open and popped them in uh, so yolks, whites together, don't, don't worry about separating. And then I uh, just used a, a normal regular hand whisk. Again, you can use a fork if you don't have a whisk. Um, and just nicely sort of blended them together so that they're, they're quite smooth and the yolks have mixed in with the whites. So that's all, that's all ready there. And what I'm just going to do is literally just pour that in. So pour that into my bowl with my um, butter and with my bananas. So it's all nicely in there. And now it really is just a case of tipping um, your pre-measured 400 grams, which remember is just a cup size or a mug size. Um, so I'm gonna pour in my self-raising flour. So pouring that in nicely, hopefully it will all fit into my bowl, which perhaps is a little bit 
on the small side. Then I'm going to um, tip in my sugar. So remember, this is the caster sugar that I mentioned. Again, 400 grams. So everything goes in there nicely. And now for the final touch, um, again, if you don't have this, it's, it's not at all a problem. Um, but if you do, um, or if you can find some at home, or if you find some in your local shop, if you have any baking powder, you can add just half a teaspoon of that just to, just to help your banana bread rise a little bit. So I'm just gonna pop that in there as well. So there we go. That's literally everything you need. And now, apologies, because there's gonna be a bit of a racket. <laughs> and because my bowl is a little bit small, there might be a tiny bit of overspill around the edges. So apologies for that. You will probably be much neater than I am. So just bear with me. Sorry for the noise. There we go. As you can see, it's creating a sort of paste. It's a, a sort of... Um, at the moment, still quite, still quite thick because the um, the egg hasn't fully dissolved with the rest of the ingredients. But the the idea is to get it as smooth as possible. So I'm just going to keep going for a little while longer just to see if I can show you the ideal consistency. <laughs> So there you go. So it's really, it's really getting there. I probably need to put a little bit more time into it, but it's really getting there with this nice sort of thick but smooth consistency where you've really blended in all of your bananas and all of your egg and all of your butter um, and the other ingredients in there to, to create a really, really nice smooth um, batter. And really, believe it or not, sorry, I just will sit back down so, I, so you can see me. Um, believe it or not, that is more or less all that there is to it because once you've um, really blended it all together and um, I have done this with a spoon as well, it just requires a little bit more arm power and a bit more muscle. Um, once it's all really nicely blended, all you need to do is to get a nice, um, well actually you can, you can do one of two things, you can either get a nice round um, oven proof cake tin um, or you can actually make banana cupcakes if you if you wish to. Um, so you have two options there. And all you do is you have to remember, obviously, if you're using a tin, is to use some of your remaining butter um, and just to, to take perhaps um, a little bit of the butter packaging off, which I always like to do because it's very easy, and just use it to line the base of the tin um, so that it's very nicely greased and so that your banana bread won't um, won't stick to it when you take it out of the oven. So uh, that's literally all there is to it. And once you've done that, um, or once you've prepared your um, cupcake cases and poured all of your um, mixture into those, it's a case of popping it into the oven at 180 degrees. And do um, get an adult to help you with this. Um, popping it in, usually for 45 minutes, but it's worth pulling it out about 10 minutes earlier just to check um, with a skewer um, that the, the skewer, if the skewer or the, or the knife comes clean, it means that it's ready um, and it's good to eat. So I really hope that uh, you give it a go. It really is very easy and very, very tasty. And if um, anyone makes their own banana bread cake or banana uh, bread cupcakes, I would love to see any photos that you might post on Instagram or on um, Twitter. Thank you again for listening. Um, and I hope that you enjoy both uh, your banana bread and uh, that I've piqued your interest um, to find out more about the Cooking Club Detectives. Thank you.